Australia, the United States, Canada and the United Kingdom have established a diplomatic boycott to protest a variety of Chinese actions, ranging from threats against Taiwan to the takeover of islands in the South China Sea to human rights violations in Xinjiang and Tibet. Despite their cold relations with Beijing, no country has demanded a full boycott of the Winter Games. And human rights organizations have condemned the decision not to enforce a full boycott as an implicit endorsement of China's conduct. The Chinese government has previously stated that it would not tolerate political demonstrations and has reinforced security to prevent any expressions of disagreement that threaten to suspend athlete accreditation, which has been strongly criticized by other countries. And the Chinese President Xi Jinping stated that China will do its best to provide the world with a smooth, safe and spectacular Olympic Winter Games. The Beijing Winter Olympics will open tomorrow. The world is looking forward for China. And China is prepared. We will dedicate to the world a steam-lined, safe and eventful Olympic Games and act in the Olympic slogan of faster, higher, stronger, together. The Games will offer the world a taste of China's COVID-0 strategy, which has successfully suppressed the virus, but at the expense of frequently brutal policing.